praise and thanks unto him. Hallelujah. It is another day's journey. Amen. We made it through yesterday, and we're still here to make it again today. Okay, choir. Who am I that you are mindful of me, that you hear me? I'm a friend. I'm a friend of God. I'm a friend of God. I'm a friend of God. He calls me friend. I'm a friend. I'm a friend of God. I'm a friend of God. I'm a friend of God. He calls me friend. Heavenly Father, here we are again. First of all, thanking you for allowing us to be here. Late night, aches and pains, illness couldn't keep us away. And that's because of you, Father. You woke us up. 
guided our minds and sent us on a path to get here. We were anxious. We were excited. Because we knew we were coming to a place and you would meet us here. I want to thank you for all the traveling mercies. Those people who thought it not robbery to get up. Those who are on the way and those who are still being pushed to get here. I want to thank you for the people who are healing because of you. They believed and they received. I want to thank you for peace. The ability to assemble. I want to beseech you on behalf of those people in need. Those with relationship needs, economic needs, job-related needs. You see, everybody's not going to open up, Father, and voice their needs, but you know their hearts, Father, and you know what everybody stands in need of. That's why we're here, Father, hoping to hear from you. Send your spirit down. Send it through, Father. We invoke your presence in this service, Father. We need you here now. And we know that when you show up, you're going to show out. And they say miracles aren't still happening. They don't know you. I'm a miracle. Father, and thank you for the leaders of our country, the leaders of the church, the leaders of the state. Continue to bless them and continue to put your words in their hearts. I ask that you touch and anoint all the bodies represented here. The families they came from. The friends they have. Because they believe in you, Father. And they know that you can change things. And that you specialize in the impossible. Finally, Father, I want to thank you for everybody. For sending your son, Jesus. To save a wretch like me. Because you see, I don't deserve it. But you thought it not robbery. And you believe in me. You believe that one day we'll get it all together down here so that we can join you again in Eden. I'm working toward it, Father. And all these people here are representations of the fact that you're still God. And there's still hope in this world. So thank you again for Jesus. These and other blessings I ask in the matchless name of Jesus the Christ. Amen, amen, and amen.
praise the Lord. Our scripture reading this morning, Ephesians 4, verses 1 through 6. And it reads, As a prisoner for the Lord, then I urge you to live a life worthy of the calling you have received. Be completely humble and gentle. Be patient, bearing with one another in love. Make every effort to keep the unity of the Spirit of God through the bond of key peace. There is one body and one spirit, just as you were called to one hope when you were called. One Lord, one faith, one baptism. One God and Father above all, who is over all and through all and in all. The Word of God for the people of God. Thanks be unto God. Amen. Let the church say amen. amen. Let the church say amen again. Amen. Uh, let me ask you to do this. Just take about 10 seconds and just give God a good praise on this morning. Amen. Come on, give him a mighty praise. Come on. Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. I don't know about you, but I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house. Hallelujah. Thank you, God, for keeping us through danger seen and unseen. Can I just get one witness in here this morning that knows how good the Lord is? Come on, let everybody say amen. amen. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. 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 Hallelujah. God, we thank you. Amen. I'm, 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 I'm going to be as obedient as I can be. Amen. I stood up here to say a few things, amen, but I know Reverend Gaskin is already whispering in my ear because she already made me, she, what well, she said, I got to stick to my promise, so let me be obedient. Amen. Uh, let, let, let me bring a couple of things to your attention, and, and, and let me uh, even first start out with this right here, and, and I really mean this from the bottom of my heart. Thank each and every one of you all for every prayer that you have whispered on my behalf. And let me tell you that God is healing me. Amen. I ain't, I ain't standing here under no power of my own. And so I, I thank you. I, I just got off the phone with the angel of the house, and, 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 and he's en route. Amen. And, and, and uh, we're just excited to be here in the house on this morning. Amen. Uh, a couple of things that we want to bring to your attention just to remind you of uh, some very important things, uh, special things on this week. Now then, first off, just to remind you, if you have not yet, the, uh, uh, the committee is working on the uh, uh, church's directory. And we really need for everybody to sign up. They are out in the North X. Uh, they'll be out there following both services on this morning. Um, the table right outside here. If you just take a moment, don't just rush out. I know sometimes we have agendas, but let this be a part of your agenda for this morning. If you'll stop by there and sign up and be a part of the church's directory. Uh, the next thing that I wanted to remind you of uh, Pastor wanted us to make sure for those of us that need to be in staff meeting on Tuesday, he is having an, uh, a full staff meeting. He wants all those that are normally here, you all know who you are, but a full staff meeting on Tuesday at 10 o'clock. Amen. If you're not able to be a part of it, please let the church office know and then let us see if there's something that we can do to help accommodate uh, communications with the church office. Also on this week, somebody say revival. Uh, come on. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. I, I, don't, I don't know about you all, but I'm, 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 I'm always excited, and I know I get excited when it's revival time. And so it is revival this week. And we're asking that you would meet, meet us nightly starting at 630 with prayer. Prayer will start promptly at 6.30. Let us cover the house, cover each other in prayer. Amen. Then we'll have some praise and worship. 
and then we'll go into our lecture. Should be up no later than 7 o'clock p.m. And so please come on out and be a part of because if we can get our lecture up by 7 o'clock, then we have enough time to get the preacher up the, 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 and, and give the preacher enough time to preach and not be rushed. Amen. Well, we're looking at our watches, wondering what time the preacher going to stop. We get here on time. The preacher will get up. We'll get the preacher up on time. Amen. And get a preacher time enough to preach and to impart a word into the body of Christ. Amen. Amen. So please, 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 that's starting on Wednesday night. 6.30 with prayer, and then we will flow on from there with the worship service. Also need to remind you that on, uh, uh, also on this week, starting later on um, Saturday, really, with YPD Day as well for annual conference. Amen. So then, therefore, those of you all that are a part of annual conference and need to be uh, in the house in Daytona Beach this week, please be reminded that this is the week for annual conference. Amen. I think that I have covered everything that uh, the angel has asked me to cover. And um, they're working on my eyes, but my eyes are not that bad. I think he just walked in the house. Will y'all give God a hand clap of praise for the angel of the house? Amen. 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 It's time for the worship through giving. Will you come on and just praise God for a moment? Because... If it wasn't for the Lord, you wouldn't have to give. Amen. So come on. Come on. Now you can do better than that. Now come on. Just praise God for the gifts that he's allowing us to be able to give. Praise God for the gift of life. Praise God for even the substance that he's allowing us to impart into this house. Amen. And as you plant the seed in this house, watch God expand the, 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 the seeds that you need for your house. Hallelujah. 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 Come on, Reverend. Come on. Come on. Read this. Envelopes ready. Raise them high. This is a joyous time because it is a time that we're able to give to our Father. He gives us so much. And this is just a small portion of what we do to show our appreciation. Raise them up. After me, please. This is my gift. It is a seed. And I plant it in this ministry and in my life. I'm expecting it to be exceedingly, abundantly, and above all that I can think or imagine. Lord, I thank you that I'm able to give. In Jesus' name, amen. Ushers, direct us, please. Sister Maxine is ready to receive your card.
come of thee and of thine own. back up a moment to uh, the recognition of our guests this morning. Do we have any guests with us? All right, everybody is seasoned. <laughs> well, well, <laughs> I'm home, James. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you. <laughs> okay. All right. He is, he is so excited. Reverend Teague is so excited to be back in the house. He is so excited. Glory to God. He's been trying to come back all month. Yeah, that, that was his thought. But praises be to the Lord that he has healed him. Glory to God. And he's back amongst the saints. Hallelujah. Yeah, it is like the prodigal son coming home. Prodigal son coming home. There you go. There you go. Back with us. Whole and complete in Christ. Amen. 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 And pastor's up here talking. But uh, he's whole. He's complete in Christ. He's going through that healing process that God needed him to go through to get his attention. Glory to God. And he's back here with us too. So we thank God. God is bringing us all together. Hallelujah. And we see his healing process just working throughout. Amen. We see it. Glory to God. So we give him thanks. But anyway, uh, we are all uh, one. All here on one accord this morning. So we all come on this morning to worship and praise God. And to give him our very best. Amen. And I know that he has a word for us. There's something that we need to fill up our spirits today. And my prayer is that he will fill up our cups and let it overflow. And that we will walk in his way. So that means a change must come over us. So we are not sitting here just to receive the word, but we got to be the doers of the word. Glory to God. So just say, Lord, fill my cup. Fill it up, Lord. And help me to grow in grace. Pastor, we need a word. Pastor, we need a word. Bring us a word, Pastor. Bring us a word. We're gonna take it back. We're gonna bless the Lord. We're gonna take it back. We're gonna bless the Lord. We're gonna take it back. Oh yeah, come on, come on, come on. And I will, I will bless the Lord. Oh my soul. Oh my soul. And no. Bless his holy name. Come on, come on, come on. And I will bless the Lord. Oh, my soul. Oh, my soul. And all. And all. 
Listen, 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 listen. He has done, he has done, he has done. He has done great things for me. He has done great things. How many people know he's done great things for you? Oh, come on now, bless. We're going to do it again. We're going to do it again. We're going to do it again. He has done. He has done. He has done great things. He has done great things for me. He has done great things. Oh, yes, he has now. Yes, bless his holy name, bless his holy name. Hallelujah. Ah, hallelujah. 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 Come on, everybody say. Hallelujah. Sing it, sing it, sing it now. Hallelujah. Shout it, sing it, praise now. Hallelujah. God is good, yes he is. Hallelujah. Lord, you're worthy of the glory and the honor. Hallelujah. Now you say. Lord, you're worthy of the glory and the honor. Hallelujah. Lord, you're worthy. Oh, uh, come on. Yes he is. Glory and the honor. Hallelujah. Lord, you're worthy. Check this out, check this out. Can't stop praising. Can't stop dancing. Be too good, Lord. Hallelujah. Now you sing. Can't stop No, you can't. How many people know how good he's been? Can't stop praising. Can't stop. Been too good. Hallelujah. Lord, you're worthy of the glory and the honor. Hallelujah. I can't stop praising. Can't stop. Check this out. Lord, you're worthy. Yes, you're worthy. You're so worthy. Hallelujah. Sing it. Worthy. Yes, you're worthy. You're so worthy. Hallelujah. Woo. How many people want Hey, Check this out. Check this out. Hallelujah. Oh, my soul. good yes he has he has truly been good come on put your hands together and give God a hand of praise in the house thank you so much thank you so much God is a marvelous God. He's a wonderful God. Amen. He's a loving and a caring God. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we come now waiting on your word. And because we're anticipating and expecting, oh God, and looking forward to your word, we come to surrender who we and what we are unto your will. 
And so we, God, we ask that you would use what you created and speak to what you made. Then God, give us hearts, minds, and spirits that are receptive to what you say, obedient to what you will, and thankful, Lord, for what you've already done. Come on, give God a hand and just say, ah, uh, would you help me release it in the atmosphere and say he's already done it? My, my, my Lord. Amen. This morning I want to take your attention to uh, Isaiah the 50, uh, uh, chapter 55. And I draw your attention to uh, the third verse. Isaiah 55 and 3. Isaiah is that Old Testament prophet that wrote what looked like a Bible itself in the book. Mm. It has as many books as the Bible, uh, as many chapters as the Bible has books, and it has an Old Testament and New Testament connotation to it. Isaiah was something else in the Lord. <coughs> my, my, my Lord. And I want us to start, when we start lifting folk up and exalting people, speak about what they are in the Lord. And if they wasn't that in the Lord, you might not need to be celebrating what they were doing. Amen. Because <clears throat> if the Lord wasn't doing it, who was? Isaiah 55 and 3, it says, incline your ear <clears throat> and come to me. Hear and your soul shall live and I will make an everlasting covenant with you uh, the sure mercies of David I want to speak to you from this subject getting back to God and I know I preached on this subject recently so I want you to know I ain't losing my mind yeah I want you to know I ain't lost it yeah my mind ain't sick some, some other parts of me were sick. So, uh, so if you want to call this getting back to God too, amen. It ain't the same sermon, so don't, don't think, oh, he done, he done went in his pad and he done went back and got the same sermon in it. I, I assure you, and if you take notes and you put them together, you see it's not. Amen. <laughs> and it ain't, the, it ain't the same title just from a different text. It's a whole different message. Listen at what God says. Now, I want to remind us that because of the sins of Adam and Eve and our own sin, we became separated from God. And I want to just lift us up and remind us that sin separates us from God. And I want to remind us the more we sin, the farther we get away from God. Mm, you hear what I'm saying? And, 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 and here's what I also want you to understand. While we are separated from God, we're not able to use the fullness of our spiritual authority. And the further we get away from God, the less spiritual authority we can take. Because in order to take spiritual authority, you have to take it mm, in relationship with God. And the further you get out of relationship, the less spiritual authority you have. Now you can get some power, but not authority. The devil got a whole lot of power, but he ain't got no authority. My, my, my Lord. He cannot command the blessings of God. Mm. He can't even command you. Oh, God. And so, so but we can command him. Uh, and, but what happens because through our sinful mindsets and behavior, we give devils influence in our lives. And when we give them any influence in our life, they interfere with God's plan for our lives. <clears throat> because they don't want us to fulfill the plan of God for our lives. Uh, the devils use the influence that we give them, remember what I'm saying, the influence that we give them to move us farther away from God. And when they move us farther away from God, they move us more into disobedience, into darkness, and into death. So you need to know where that road is going. It, from disobedience and darkness into death. And so, and because of our sinful nature, we allow the demonic influence to cause us, uh, to cause it to be difficult for us to even hear God and to draw near to him. It's something about when you're full of sin, it's hard to draw near to God. 
Uh, Sometimes when you sin, get a whole lot of sin. You don't even want to come to church. Yeah. Uh, preacher preaching, and you don't want to hear what the preacher preaching because he's preaching about your stuff. Yeah. God did me like that one day. I, I, I went out and did some stuff I shouldn't have done and cut up and did some stuff and, and, and just made it to church early that morning. And, and what happened is the person that I did some stuff I shouldn't have done was in the church too. I said, oh, Jesus. They come to the same church. Jesus. I couldn't hide. And the preacher went right down the road about my stuff. I'm sitting there trying to hide in the Lord. Have mercy, Jesus. Amen. <clears throat> Somebody say, thanks for saving him, Lord. Amen. Amen. See, that's why I tell you, you ain't got to stay where you are. Because I know how you can get out of the mess. Uh-huh. I had a member one time, she said she was just, she had a past and she was concerned about her past. She kept talking about God couldn't use her because she had a past and stuff. And so finally I had to tell her, I said, well, sister, what do you think of your past? Oh, you're a man of God. God is just using you and God is just blessing you. I said, well, if God can use your past, he can show you you. Yeah. But then she said to me, she said, but pastor, I've been a bad girl. I said, well, let me just tell you. Your pastor been a bad boy, then you've been a bad girl. And I, she looked at me. Oh, maybe you know what he's talking about. That lady went on till they started calling her the Holy Mother. Don't let no devil tell you because of where you allowed yourself to get that God can't bring you to where he wants you to be. Because he wants you to give up and stay in the darkness. Ask the woman at the way or can he bring you back? Mm. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Ask Paul, can he bring you back? Now, you ain't got to do that. You can ask Mark, can he bring you back? And ain't to my Mark in the Bible. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. But you need to know that the devils will get you so far out there and tell you you can't make it back. You might as well give up. They're just like them crows on the Wizard of Oz. Uh, you can't win, and you can't get out of the game. And then you need to tell them the devil is a lie. And so, so, so we cause them and allow them to, to cause it to be difficult for us to hear God and to draw near to God. Therefore, we have to take back the authority that God gave us from the beginning. I want to remind you that you don't have to ask God to bless you because he's already blessed you. He created you blessed. And we keep acting like God had not done his job. Yeah, and we need to stop treating God that way. Oh God, you need to give me some more understanding so I know how to live right. You got enough understanding to know how to live right. You just ain't using what you got. And then we want to make excuses and act like God ain't taught us enough. Yeah, I don't know how to live right. You a lie? If you know Jesus, you know how to live right. Mm, yeah. Don't thank you, Jesus. And so, but, 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 but you, we make excuses. And we keep praying for to be delivered in the future. Mm -hmm. Save me one day, Lord. Now, why you don't want to be saved today? One day. And then some folks have the audacity. Oh, I got my day. God got my day that I'm, you know, ain't been to church in 50 years. God, I got my day. Yeah, you got your day all right. Yeah, they're going to roll you right on in here. Uh -huh. Now, you ain't going to even know you was in church. Mm -hmm. Ain't going to hear none of the music. Ain't going to be able to hear the message. Yeah, you won't even know you in church. Yeah, you got your day. So you better find your way in here before that day find you. Oh, because if that day find you before you find him, uh -huh. ain't nothing I can do for you. They're like this preacher preached this time. They told him this guy never would come to church. Kept trying to get him to come to church. Kept trying to get him to come to church. Finally, he died. And so, and then their family wanted them to have the funeral at the church. Uh, the pastor said, well, y'all all, y'all wonder what? What, 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 uh, Sam gonna do with he? 
Well, Sam going to put he on the fence and let his master come and get him. My, my, my Lord. We have to return to God. It's time for us to get back to God. We have to draw near to him. He said, draw near unto me and I draw near unto you. We have to return to God and to hear God. And which means that we have to receive what he says and respond in a righteously obedient manner. And we have to remember that everything that we need is in God. And while we're running out in the world to try to find something, God already got it. And if we get with him, we'll have everything we need. But the devil will give us trinkets to run out after out there uh, to make us think we're going to get something. Amen. The devil, just like the Wizard of Oz, got a big old show and ain't got no substance to it. Hmm. And that's why, that's why the song says, Art never gave anything to the tin man that it didn't already have. My, my Lord. And what people would do when they give you your trinkets, they'll make you feel beholden to them like they've given you something. You, God, the one, gave you the gifts. Yeah, what the, what the, 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 the wizard should have thanked them because they got rid of his enemy. They did what he couldn't do. Yeah, and, and, and so what we need to understand is it's time to get back to God. It's time for families to get back to God. It's time for husbands and wives to get back to God. The reason why we can't get along is because we ain't close enough to God. It's time for churches to get back to God. It's time for young folk, old folk, middle-aged folk, in-between folk, the tall folk, the short folk, the skinny folk, the fat folk, the, the medium folk, the brown folk, the yellow folk, the white folk, the black folk, the whatever kind of folk. It's time to get back to God. It's time for the Republicans, the Democrats, the Independents, and everybody else to get back to God. The reason why we can't do nothing in Congress is because they ain't got God in them. There, there, there used to be us. We used to sing this song. There will never be any peace uh, until God is set, is seated at the conference table. We keep trying to do stuff without God. Even in the church, we try to have meetings without God. And when we try to have a meeting without God, it turns to a devil fest. My, my Lord. So when we need to get back to God, and I just sort of want to lift up some things that God got for us when we get back to God. And I want to lift up some key scriptures that we all know, but we don't use. The problem with us, we don't use our stuff enough. Now, we got some mighty weapons. The Bible tells us our weapons are not carnal, but they're spiritual and mighty. They're able to bring down strongholds. They're able, they're able to pull down arguments that, it, that, that exalt itself against the knowledge of God. They're able to put thoughts into subjection, but we don't use them enough. Uh, we walk around him with all this ammunition and ain't doing nothing with it. My, my, my Lord. We done got gun shot. Yeah. And, 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 and so we won't, well, and, and so we need to learn to use what God gave us. Now, uh, first of all, I want us to say we need to start going back. When we get back to God, God gives us spiritual vision. And, and that means that you're able to see God. Uh, listen at what Isaiah said. Uh, Isaiah said, the year that King Uzziah died, uh, he said, I saw also the Lord. Uh, he said, I saw the Lord. I saw him sitting on a throne. Uh, I saw him high and I saw him lifted up. Uh, and not only that, but his train filled the temple. Oh, God. The train of his robe filled up the temple. And so we've heard that, but Isaiah, what were you saying uh, Isaiah was saying, when I get this other stuff out of the way, then I can see God. When I get other people out the way, then I can see God. When I can get my selfishness out the way, then I can see God. When I get my desires out of the way, I can see God. When I get my mess out of the way, I can see God. When I stop playing the devil's game, then I can see God. And I ain't been able to see him because I've been too busy looking at some mess. Huh? Uh, and, and, and what happened is we sometimes we can't see the forest for the tree. Oh, God. My, my, and then sometimes we can't even see the tree for the forest. Oh, God. We get all mixed up. Huh? But, but when you get with God, you can see the forest and the trees. Ah, oh, God. And you know the relationship that one has with the other one. 
So Isaiah said, when I got my stuff out of the way, then I saw God. But Isaiah said, I saw him. I didn't see him any kind of way, but I saw him sitting on a throne. That means he was in authority. I saw him in authority and ready to give commandments. See, when a king sat down on his throne, he's ready to do some official. If you go before the king, as long as he's standing up, you're all right. As long as he's standing up, you're all right. Because he ain't finna give no judgment if he's standing up. When the king get ready to do a judgment, he sit down. Now when he sit down, uh-oh, you might be in trouble. Oh, God. Because he about to speak it. And what he speaks become law. Now he can do a whole lot of stuff while he walking around out there. But when he sits on the throne, what he speaks become law. Ah, oh, that's why God sits on the throne. That's why he sent Jesus. He said, I got to stay on the throne because I got to speak commandments. I got to speak law. So, so son, you go down and handle the lightweight and I'm going to stay here on the throne. Somebody say, thank you, Lord. Uh, but what I love about him, we got a God that's on the throne and on the earth too. Oh, Jesus. He's on the throne and in the garden of Gethsemane. He's on the throne and on the cross uh, all at the same time. Uh, but he says, I'm God. I can do it like that. Oh, Jesus. Woo. <laughs> but until you see the authority of God, you don't know how to use it. And you walk around here. And why, why is it important for God to have authority? Well, if he got authority and I'm his child, then I got authority too. <laughs> As a matter of fact, if he got authority and I'm his child, the only person that can counsel me is him. Uh, the angels can't even counsel me. Uh, oh, God. Uh, uh, and by the way, uh, 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 Satan ain't nothing but an angel out of place. <laughs> uh, so, so if he's my father, he's the only one that can counsel what I say. My, my life. See, y'all didn't know you had that kind of power. I can speak the creation and it's got to behave. Oh, God. I can speak the angels and they got to obey. Uh, I can speak the demons and devils and they got to obey when I speak in authority of my father. But I have to get out of my authority and speak in his authority. I got authority because I got relationship with him. That's why the devil don't want us close to him. So we can't speak in authority. When the prodigal son, we were messing with him, but when the prodigal son was out of the house, he didn't have no authority. <laughs> All he had was some money in the bag. Uh, and the longer the money was running, oh God. But when the money ran out, uh, they showed him what kind of authority he had. He said, hold on, you're in a strange land. We don't know you here. We don't even know your daddy. Uh, who, who you are, boy? You better get on over there in the pig pen. Uh, they got him doing a job that the Jews don't even fool with pigs. Ah, uh, but no authority. Now watch this. When he get back home, all authority is still in the house. He come there and said, I ain't worthy to be your son. Just give me a job. Just let me go with the hired servant. But the father said, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. You, you might be raggedy, but you're still my son. <laughs> You might be half naked, but you're still my son. You may be on the stink side, but you're still my son. Oh, God. You, you, you reek like you just got out the pig pen, but you're still my son. Ah, uh, So he told the servants, y'all going to clean him up. Huh? Put some shoes on his feet. Ah, huh? uh, Go get my robe out of the closet and put on him. Ah, huh? uh, God. Get my signet ring huh? and give him back his authority. So when folks see him, they identify him with me. Huh? And then go and kill that fatted cat, because we about to have a celebration. Uh, somebody say, thank you, Lord. <laughs> oh, God. Now, watch this, too. All the prodigal son had to do to get back home was come to himself. When he come to himself and realized who he was, hallelujah, Jesus. He said, hold on. In my father's house, the servants do better than this. Yeah. Well, why am I out here in this foolishness? This ain't what I was made for. And God said, when you come to yourself, you can come back to me. Oh, God. When you realize who you are, you can come back to me. So he said, I saw him in authority. But he also said, I saw him high. 
because he was high and lifted up. That means he was sovereign. He was over all things. But I want you to know that we serve a God that's over all things, but in all things. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, he, he, he's beyond all things, but in all things. Uh, he's beyond time, but he operates in time. Oh, Jesus. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, he's beyond human, but he became human. Oh, he's that kind of God uh, that he can be over all things, but then still in all things. Uh, as a matter of fact, that, that, that it is said that no matter where you go, you, you got to deal with him. Uh, and, 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 and the scripture said, if I make my, my bed in the mountain, he's there. If I put it in the depths of the sea, he's there. Even if I take it to the pit of hell, he's there. Ain't no place I can go where he ain't. Oh, God. You hear that? Ain't no place I can go where he ain't. So my father can look out for me no matter where I am. I may not even know where I am, but he knows where I'm at. <laughs> Hallelujah. I might not even know what my name is today, but he knows my name. <laughs> Because he's my father. I might have forgot who I am. But my father had not forgot who I am. <laughs> Why you think you survived all your mess? Wasn't because you were so good. And it wasn't because you were smarter than everybody else. But your father knew who you were. And, and here's how we say it. He looked beyond my faults. And he saw all of my needs. Hallelujah, glory. When, when I deserve uh, to be, uh, but, it, but it said, this is my child. Oh, thank you, Lord. And that's why you got to see him as sovereign. Because sometimes you get in a mess. And you got to see him above your mess. But willing to come in your mess to get you out of the mess. Hallelujah. That's why we say he sets high, but he looks low. My, my, my God. Somebody says he even watched the sparrow. And he, and, he, and, he, and he takes care of the lowly sparrow. And if God will watch out for a sparrow, I know he's got his eyes on me. Ah, oh, God. See, that's what those songs do. They, they help us get back to God. They help us remind us of who we are. They remind us of our relationship and how much our Father is willing to move heaven and earth to come see about us. Thank you, Lord. He also said he was lifted up. And see, now, this is how God get lifted up. You got to do that. Because God does not lift himself up. God have creation to lift him up. He got angels called cherubims that carry the presence of God. They lift up the presence of God. And when God was in the ark, he told them the way you to move me, if you're going to move me, you got, to, you got to bear my weight. Hallelujah. You got to get them poles and put them into them rings. And, and you got to take that ark and you got to lift it up. Because God said, you can't handle me any kind of way. He said, I ain't no low carrying God, so you can't carry me down here. That's why I said, God, he ain't no underhanded God. He said, if you're going to carry me, you got to lift me up. Uh, you got to exalt me. Uh, you, you, you can't be the, 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 the secret Sunday school person and don't want people to know that you've even been to church. Uh, hallelujah. He said, now, if you scared to own me down here, I'm going to be ashamed to own you when you try to get up, child. Uh, uh, but a matter of fact, I need somebody that will exalt me in the earth. Uh, uh, the, the scripture said, oh, let us exalt uh, his name together. Let us magnify his name. So you ought to exalt his name. Now, when you talk about God, you ought to talk about him uh, <coughs> like he the best thing going. Because guess what? He is the best thing going and coming. <laughs> My Lord. Somebody give God a hand. And then he says, his presence occupies and fills. Oh, God. God is able to fill you up. And if you're full of God, you ain't got no room for the devil mess. And see, when the devil come and offer you something, you ought to just give him one of them big spiritual belts in his face. I'm filled and my cup running over. <laughs> Ain't no room in my end for you, devil. Come on, give God another hand. My, my, my Lord. <clears throat> Next one I want to take you to is, uh, uh, I want to tell you about your spiritual heritage. Isaiah 54 and 7. Watch what God 
promised us. It says, no weapon formed against me shall prosper. And every tongue which rises against me in judgment, uh, I shall condemn. My, my, my Lord. This is the inheritance. This is the heritage of the saints of the Lord. And their righteousness is from me, says the Lord. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. Mm, no matter who formed it, it won't work. No matter how big it is, it still ain't going to work. No matter how loaded it is, it still ain't going to work. <coughs> no weapon formed against me will prosper. Uh, that, and, and, and see, what you got to realize that I didn't promise that, but God did. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My, my, my Lord. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. I may not be bulletproof, but my God is. And because I'm his child, he'll get between me and the bullet. Hallelujah, glory. Somebody say, thank you, Lord. So every weapon, but not only that, but every tongue that comes up against me in judgment, I can condemn it. Uh, so don't matter what you say about me, I'm still going to hook and condemn it. Uh, no matter how much you low rate me, I can condemn it. Uh, no matter what you want to say I am, if I ain't that, I can condemn it. Oh, God. Uh, and, 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 and so what you say ain't got to go. Uh, uh, as a matter of fact, me and God got the last word on this thing. Uh, hallelujah, Jesus. Somebody say, thank you, Lord. Isn't it good to know because sometimes people will put you out there to be some everything but what you are. They call you everything but a child of God. They did it to Jesus. They're going to show do it to you. They call him Bezabah. They say, you can call me what you want to, but I'm the Christ. Hallelujah. That's why you can't follow what the world say. He said, Peter, who do they say that I am? Peter said the world talking about all kinds of stuff. Some said Elijah. Some said Jeremiah. Some said you got to be one of the prophets. But, but he said, who do you say that I am? Oh, God. And Peter said, that art the Christ. The son of the living God. Uh, and, and, and so what we have to realize that you can condemn what they say. This is your heritage. It's your birthright. It's your legacy. And this is a tradition that we need to take. Uh, you want to you wanna hold on to a tradition? Let righteousness be your tradition. If, if you want to hold on to the tradition, speak in prophecy and let that be your tradition. Ah, God. Cancel out that stuff the devil is saying about you. He's been talking about you ever since you were a child. When you were a child, he said you ain't going to mount to be anything. Uh, a matter of fact, some of you, he said y'all wasn't going to even make it. Uh, some of you, the devil said you were going to die before you even get to be an adult. Uh, and then tried to make you feel like it was going to be so. Ah, uh, uh, my, my God. But how about you said that I shall live and not die. <laughs> my, my, my God. God. Thank you, Lord. Somebody say thank you, Lord. Somebody learn to say that my condition is not my conclusion. And because my condition is not my conclusion, that means this came to pass. Uh, Y'all hear that? Y'all listen to that carefully. This came to pass. That, it, it didn't come to stay. It came to pass. So I need to just let this pass on by. My, my Lord. I may have to sit here and watch through this thing as it's going, but it came to pass. Uh, touch somebody and say it came to pass. Uh, uh, touch them again and say it ain't going to stay with you. Uh, touch them again and say it, but it won't last always. Ah, oh, God. My, 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 my Lord. And, and, and so you need to know the power that you got. And when you're going through some stuff, uh, you can encourage yourself, say, this came to pass. Uh, it may be rough, but it came to pass. Uh, it may be a mess, but it came to pass. Uh, it was designed to take me out, but it came to pass. Uh, because no weapon formed against me. So this thing came to pass. Uh, I know the devil think he had me, but God already got me. Uh, and since God got me, the devil can't have me. Oh, God. Uh, I, that's why I'm getting back to God. Because uh, I want God to have me. And when God got me, the devil can't get me. Uh, woo, Jesus. Uh, tell somebody, say, I'm already got. <laughs> woo, <laughs> Jesus. That's why we say I've been bought with a price. Uh, I'm sold out uh, for the Lord. Uh, back in the blues, they used to have a song. Uh, and this is how we'll be. Uh, the songwriter said, uh, I'm hook, hog tie, and collar. Uh, oh, God. Uh, and that's how we ought to be with the Lord. Hook, hog tie, and collar. <coughs> see, see y'all better cut. Y'all cutting up in here. Come on. <coughs> 
Give God a hand. Give God a hand. Give God a hand. Uh, uh, see, I, I, I know I'm coughing up here, but that came to pass too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, see, see, it trying to hang around a while, but it came to pass. Uh, and why is this passing? I got some preaching to do. Uh, yeah, you see, I can't wait on it to pass to get my preaching done. Uh, so, so why I might have to cough every now and then, but I got some preaching to do. Uh, she said, We need a word. Uh, and, 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 and when you need a word, it doesn't matter if you're coughing. Uh, somebody need a word. Oh, God. Uh, and the word got to come forth. Uh, even while the stuff is coming to pass. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, God. Woo. See, I'm, I'm trying to show you how to work your stuff. Uh, uh, you, you need to learn how to work everything in the power of God. Uh, no matter what you're going through, turn that thing. Uh, rather stand there and looking at how bad it is, uh, complaining about it, ain't going to do nothing about it. Uh, you can sit there, I can talk about this cough, this old cough, it ain't going to still be there. Uh, but I got some work to do. Uh, uh, I got to bless my God. Uh, I got to lift him up. Uh, I got to exalt him. Uh, I got to praise him. Oh, God. Woo. Now, he also has a spiritual standard. And in the standard, it starts saying, they shall fear the Lord. Listen, Isaiah again. I told you it's like a Bible. Isaiah 59 and 19. So shall they fear the name of the Lord from the west and his glory from the rising of the sun. When the enemy comes in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord will lift up a standard against him. <laughs> now, watch this. Before they ever attack, God says, the enemy is going to fear my name. Uh-huh. <coughs> and they're going to fear my glory. Now, but every so often, here's what a flood do. Flood comes in to overflow you and overwhelm you. And it's designed to just sweep you away. And every so often, the devil will raise up. And think he big and bad. He getting mad because you're walking in the blessedness of God. He getting mad because he been trying to take you out and he can't. He been getting mad because he trying to entice you to go on his side, but you won't. He getting mad because you won't do what he wants you to do. So he go to try to overflow and overwhelm you. But God says when he comes in to overwhelm you, God says I'm going to raise up a standard. Oh, God. I, I'm, and, and you see, when you bring up a standard, a standard has to do with several, two things. Uh, standard has to be with this is the way things are, and this is the way things will go. This is the order and the sequence. This is the mandate of things. Uh, but standard also is a barrier that says the other stuff can't come here. Hallelujah, Jesus. So God says, I'm going to raise up a standard and let the devil know you can't even get here. As a matter of fact, devil, this is my child. Get your hands off of him. You remember when the devil was messing with Job? Uh, he couldn't go no further and God let him go. Uh, first, joke, uh, uh, he told him, said, I can let you take his problem and stuff, but you can't touch him. Oh, God. And so then the devil got even mad and said, now, 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 see, the reason why Job's still with you, you won't let me touch him. Uh, but if you let me touch him and just give him some sickness, uh, Job will cuss you to his face, uh, to your face. Uh, but, 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 but God says, uh, all right, go ahead and touch him. Uh, and he touched him to sores and balls uh, came all over him. Uh, but when he got thought, when the devil thought that he had Job and Job was going to go to cussing, when all of his friends told him to give it up, uh, when his wife told him to give it up, uh, Job went out there in the ash pile and, 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 and threw ashes all over himself and, and began to scrape his sores. Uh, and Job said, the Lord giveth uh, and the Lord taketh away. Bless be the name of the Lord. Uh, in hardships, you got to bless the Lord. Uh, in tough times, you got to raise the standard up. Uh, you have to tell the devil, said, hold on. Uh, I wasn't made for this stuff I'm going through. Uh, I'm my father's child. And this ain't the kind of life that my God got for me. I refuse to live like this anymore. I refuse to be subject to your whims. Uh, I refuse to be subject to your mess. Take it and be gone. <clears throat> Finally, I'm going to leave you alone for right now. Spiritual 
healing. I'm back in Isaiah 53 and 5. But he, watch this now, he was wounded for our transgressions. Oh, God. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace is upon him. And by his stripes, we are healed. Oh, my Lord. Come get your spiritual healing. Father says, come get your spiritual healing. Father says, children, come on, get your spiritual healing. Well, our father says, I know you've been out there toiling, but come get your spiritual healing. Our father says, come on, draw near to me. I ain't trying to call you to the glories of heaven right now. I'm trying to call you in my presence. And God see, he, he said, now I told you that even though I was over all things, I'm in all things. Which means that you can find me even in the world that you're in. Ah, God. You can find me even in the existence that you're in. And I want to give you some spiritual healing. And so you need to know that he bore our griefs. And, and, and he was wounded for our transgression. Now, that means I deserve it, but he got to whipping. Oh, God. They hurt him because of what I did. Uh, not because of what he did, but because of what I did. And sometimes you have to tell yourself, it, it wasn't the Romans that put him on the cross. It was me. Ah, uh, uh, Lord. It wasn't the Jews that put him on the cross, but it was me. Uh, and he bare my sins on the cross. Sometimes you got to get personal with that thing. And, 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 and then you have to tell him he was wounded for my transgression. And every now and then the devil's trying to tempt you about stuff. But then you go back and say, now hold on now. He was wounded for this kind of mess. So I'm not going to cause him to be wounded anymore. He's already forgiven me. He's already saved me. He's already delivered me. So why should I put another wound on him? I, devil, you can take your mess and go on because he was wounded for my transgression. Uh, not only that, they bruised him because of my iniquities. Uh, because I cut up and didn't act like I need to. He was bruised uh, and he took my bruising. Ah, uh, he got my whipping. <laughs> How many of you got a brother or sister that would take your whipping? Uh-huh. Yeah, uh-huh. Yeah. Mama, dad, they're talking about whipping time. And nobody getting in no line to take your whipping. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. A matter of fact, they'll go get the switch for you. <laughs> and they get the longest one they can find <laughs> if it's your time. They get the biggest belt they can find hanging in the closet. Uh-huh. They ain't going to take care of one. But I want you to know our big brother took our whipping. <laughs> our big brother took our whipping. <laughs> Our big brother said he can't handle it. Put it on me, Father. Our big brother said he can't take it. Put it on me, Father. Our big brother said he can't make it. Put it on me, Father. Oh, God. Mm. And see, you have to begin to talk like that. That's my big brother. Because that's God's son. That means I'm a child of God, too. That's why when I tell y'all, when you say the Apostle Creed, say his only begotten son. Don't talk about his only son. Because I ain't finna let you leave me out. And I'm trying to keep you from leaving you out. Yeah. And Jesus is his only begotten son, but not his only son. Oh, Lord. My, my God. Somebody say, thank you, Lord. His chastisement of our peace was upon him. They chastised him. Mm. <coughs> because of me. They called him Bezebub because I acted like Bezebub. Uh-huh. Yeah. And then by his stripes, I am healed. If you get healed spiritually, the other, the other stuff will fall in place. Yeah. And see, this cough just reminded me I got to go to another level. Because, see, the devil done learned to handle me on this level. That's what done happened. Them devils that been after me, they know how to find me now. And so they know how to handle me on the level where I'm at. And so the cough reminded me I just got to go up a little higher. Uh, I, got, I got to raise my game up. Uh, and seeing you can't be afraid to say you got to raise your game up. Uh, even if you're the pastor, it, that's why we said every round goes higher and higher. Uh, you got to raise your game up. And so this just reminded me I got to raise my game up. Uh, you see, that's why I don't even look the same anymore. See, y'all see, I'll see I, I, I got a new thing going on here. Yeah, yeah. 
See, I ain't just trying. I ain't just trying to look cute. <laughs> yeah, but 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 see now 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 the devils can't even recognize me. Yeah. Oh God, I, I had to do a new thing. So so when they come to find me, they walk by me saying, "Where is it? Where is it? I ain't here." Ah, uh, and I'm standing there. My 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 Lord. See, see, I use everything to the glory of God. Now, now what you got down in that? I don't be playing. I'm using everything because God gave me this. And you see, now it's white, which means it got some wisdom uh, in there. Uh, that, that, that means I done been in some battles. Uh, I done been in some fights. Uh, but you know what it means? That means I won the battles. Uh, I survived the fight. Uh, and I learned some in the process. Uh, that, that means God has taken me higher than I used to be. I, I ain't the little whippersnapper the devil used to handle any kind of way he want to. Push his flesh and he. Ah, but now he may say, I don't think so. Matter of fact, I know not. Ah, God. And ever so often you have to change your game up. Ah, ah, then Moses, when he went on that mountain, his hair turned white. Uh, he didn't even look the same. When Jesus got out the grave, Mary didn't even recognize him. He changed his countenance. Uh, every so often, you got to change your countenance and get back to God. Uh, you got to tell God, I'm coming back. Uh, I don't care what's in my way, I'm coming back. Uh, I'm on my way home, I'm coming back. Uh, ain't no devil going to stop me, I'm coming back. Sin ain't going to stop me, I'm coming back. Sickness ain't going to hold me, I'm coming back. Death ain't going to get him away. I'm coming back. I got to get back to you, God. Back to your love. Back to your joy. Back to your peace. Back to your authority. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. How did you get the word this morning? Hallelujah. Glory to God. We know that we have what? Power. Hallelujah. That wonder work and power. All we have to do is put it to use. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Give God a hand for the word this morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. God sends you what you need right when you need it. Hallelujah. Ah, I don't know about you, but I'm excited about Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Oh, I'm excited about him. Because God is just so good. Hallelujah. And he just fills our cup. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Now we know that everybody here is connected this morning. Hallelujah. But someone may be coming every Sunday. But they have not given their hand, their heart, heart to God. They have not joined us here officially. So the doors of the church are now open. And if you like to come, and officially join us here. We would love to have you as our official member. Pastor would love to be your pastor. And as you can see, as you keep coming, the word keeps flowing. Someone may be seeking your salvation on this day. You just want to draw closer to God. You just want to become one with Him. Now is your time to come. Now is your time. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord.
just want to tell you I love you more than anything in Jesus name let's stand all over the house come on give God a hand of praise as you stand Uh, releasing in the atmosphere there's a word from the Lord Mm, God in the name of Jesus Uh, now I want to remind you of something else A word is only as good as if you use it. The most powerful word in the world. It's not going to be full effect unless you use it. And remember this. Stop waiting on God. Because God has already done what he needs to do. And he's waiting on us. We've got to activate We've got to activate. We've got to activate. Now, let me just share this. I'm going to get in trouble a little bit. For the last two and a half years, Sister Crutch has been trying to speak in tongues. And I told her two years ago, the tongues is already there. But you got to learn to trust God with your mouth and just release it and stop worrying about you. I ain't go over too good. And, and, and but I but it was the truth last week we was in the bed and uh, I said to her I asked her I said what are you doing with all this stuff because she's always into the word and listening what are you doing with it and at first that was somewhat offensive because she took it I'm trying to say I ain't doing nothing with it but I'm asking are you doing what you need to do and so to, to, to say something to me show me she said well for instance I just heard two sermons about speaking in tongue right behind each other and when she said that I said so are you ready to speak and at first she hesitated and then she just started speaking now what she was in what was called the babble stage that a lot of tongue beginners to do they ain't got the language but the the gift is there and they babble but you got to get the language oh god and so and 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 so when she began to just me and god says put your hand on her knee and just pray I laid there with my hand on her knee. Why the knee? The knee represents relationship. And so God was saying, let the relationship y'all share. Empower her. You can speak in tongues. You speak fluently in tongues. So let the relationship empower her. Oh, God. And then she began to release the tongue language. Now, what I didn't tell you, about four days before that, some attacked her and her neck just like it was just in a bind. And it was getting worse and worse. As a matter of fact, that night, she had me to massage her just to find some comfort from it. But when she started just speaking in the tongue, the neck loosened up and that thing just went right away. My, my God. God not only let her speak in tongue, but to show her this power in her tongue. Ah. Uh, Because the attack that was on you because you got your language, it couldn't stay with you. My, 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 my God. And some of you wrestling with stuff out there that you need to just go ahead and activate it. See, she could have been waiting another 10 years. Come out waiting on God and this and that. You need to just open your mouth and begin to speak. Yeah, she was concerned. I may say the wrong thing. God know what he want to say. Just trust him with your mouth and let him speak a marvelous sick. Let us praise God from whom all blessing flow. I done preached already. Oh God, I just feel it this morning. I feel it this morning.
getting back to God. And now unto him who's able to do exceedingly abundantly and above all that we ask, we think or imagine according to the power of God that works within us to him be glory, power, and majesty not only now but henceforth and forevermore in the name of Jesus let God church say Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. 